Alright guys, so you know how big I am on foraging? So I just got Smokey this new foraging toy. And the idea of the toy is that you can remove this top cap and fill it in with um, some of your bird's favorite treats. So I fit it in with a lot of safflower seeds and she doesn't get that in her normal diet. So it's a big treat for her whenever she does get it. And the idea is your bird is supposed to be pulling, um, they're supposed to pull on these tabs and the tabs would release the um, treats little by little. But Smokey hasn't quite figured out that she needs to pull on the tabs to let the uh, seeds fall down little by little. So instead what she does with it is that she just goes crazy with it. She just shakes it and she, she swings it and she hits it all over the place. And when she does do that, the seeds just kind of um, fall down. But that's kind of the way that she's been getting them out. I don't know if she's going to be able to eventually, um, I'm sure she will, but I don't know how much time it's going to take her to figure out that she, instead of just going crazy with it, she can just pull on these tabs and just have them fall down more easily. There she is. And I purposely put in this rope uh, swing so that she has to climb on the swing to be able to um, forage for the food. And that just makes things a lot more interesting. But you don't have to do that. And in fact, whenever um, the swing is inside her Avery, I actually have to supervise her while using it because I've heard that some birds um, can get tangled up if they chew too much on the swing and then it gets frayed that their claws can get tangled in it and they can really hurt themselves. So I've chosen to only use a swing whenever I'm around to supervise. So I think this is what you guys are going to see in this video is a part of Smokey that you don't often see in my um, other videos because usually when you um, see her in my other videos she's usually really calm and she's either on me or she's on a perch and she's usually getting head scratches or she's getting some cuddling from me. But this is a side of her that you don't often see in videos and that's she's really um, rough with her toys and she's really crazy sometimes. Right Smokes? <clears throat> but no matter what, she always prefers head scratches over her treats so that's a good thing. I also think this is a side of African greys that not a lot of people um, see. I mean usually when you see African greys uh, in videos they're just sitting back watching um, what's happening inside the room or they're just chatting away by themselves. But what you don't often see is that they're actually also very active and they could be very active birds. I also think that a part of that is you have to um, arrange the environment in such a way that it promotes them and it kind of sets them up to w be active. And foraging is a great way to do that. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, Smokey is a fully flighted African Grey. 
So I just love seeing. Check out these uh, primaries. Just love seeing those uh, wings. And if you guys are new to foraging, um, basically what it is, is in the wild, wild birds spend a lot of their time foraging and looking for food. So in captivity, if you guys are giving your bird food through um, a food bowl, what takes them, you know, so much time, hours to do in the wild, is reduced down to just minutes or even seconds in captivity. So as a result, the bird gets bored and a lot of problem behaviors could arise because of that. So through foraging, we're setting the environment up in such a way that the bird has to find a way to get their food. And that keeps them very mentally stimulated and it prevents a lot of behavioral problems from ever occurring in the first place. It's also a lot of fun to watch. You crazy bird. What a crazy bird, Smokes. What are you doing? Woo! Want a scratch? What did I tell you guys? She always prefers scratches over her food. Hey, bird. Oh, and by the way, I never did um, an updated Avery video. But if you guys take a look at the top, I actually added a roof. So this is just, um, it's a corrugated roofing and I chose the clear kind to allow um, light to pass through. It's also a great way, um, and I think it's excellent actually for um, the purpose of this video to mention this. And that is with the roof on top. If she were to climb up on here to hang upside down from the roof to get um, her treats or to just play around, she can't be attacked by aerial predators like hawks. <clears throat> I'm gonna kinda move the camera around. If you guys um, take a look, right behind Smokey, there are actually two more foraging toys um, that you'll be able to see. One is right there. And that's a really easy one. That one, all she needs to do is really um, spin the wheel and then she can get the food that's inside. And the one over here, this one here, I really recommend that one. Um, it's just a foraging ball that you guys can kind of twist to open and then I put things like pistachio nuts, um, I put almonds in there and it takes her a lot of time to try to get the food out so that's a great one. Oh and by the way I'm not at all sponsored by any companies that sell these toys so I'm not doing this just for the purpose of trying to market any of these toys. It's just something that I um, got that I think is really beneficial um, for the bird, so I just wanted to share it with all of you. Here's another foraging toy that I recently got. So pellets is what um, Smokey primarily eats in addition to fruits and veggies. And I found that I don't really trust putting pellets into really advanced foraging toys just because in the event that the bird can't figure it out or in the event that it somehow gets stuck then your bird has no way to access their primary um, diet. So I got this foraging toy which is um, something that I think is fairly new to the market and I fill it up. You can remove this bottom part which I can't do right now because I'm holding the camera but you can remove this bottom part and then fill it up with any treats you want. In this case, I'm putting her pellets inside. So when the bird spins this um, toy, some of it will go inside um, this part here, and that's how she can kind of get that those pellets. 
you also see that if I pan over it, some of the pellets are, they will drop. So I put this bowl underneath to kind of catch whatever um, drops. And so far it's working pretty well. And in terms of training, I think um, foraging toys are a huge plus because um, whenever I travel, I'm always surprised when I see like a flock of pigeons and how brave they are in, in, in approaching people. And sometimes, I mean, actually at one time I was able to get a pigeon to fly onto my arm for um, just some munchies. But um, it amazes me at how desperate, in a sense, wild birds are to get food. And when we think about training um, our own birds, the um, biggest, I guess, complaint that I hear from a lot of people is that, well, my bird doesn't like uh, treats. He won't work for them. And so I think that we slowly, and I say slowly because you can't just all of, uh, all of a sudden, if you haven't introduced your bird to foraging before, you can't just all, all of a sudden do all of this overnight. Because I think if we gradually introduce our birds to foraging toys, and teach them that food doesn't always, it doesn't come easily and that they have to work for their food. Then whatever we use as training treats or whatever we use as uh, treats in general becomes so much more valuable for them. But again, I do want to kind of emphasize for you that whatever you're giving your bird as their primary diet, don't put it in such a crazy foraging toy. Put it in something that's more um, easy for them to kind of get because you don't want your bird to, you don't want to risk your birds going hungry because they don't know how to figure it out. Smokey, come here. Hey, big bird, come here, step up. Whoa. There you go. Smokes. Can you say hi to the camera? Say hi. Say hi. Hey, say hi. Good bird. Alright, go back to it. What I love about Smokey is that no matter how rough she is with her um, toys, she's always very gentle with me. Right, Smokes? And if you guys take a look at that beak, that beak can cause a lot of damage. But um, surprisingly, she's never she's never applied any pressure at all when she interacts with me. She's never broken my skin. She's never drawn blood. Not even a nip. So what, that's one of the things that I love about Smokey. All right, my arm's getting tired, Smokes. So you're gonna go right back to your perch. Go on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if the video was useful for you, uh, make sure you guys click the like button below. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, that'll notify you whenever I post a new video. Well, hopefully I'll be able to post again next week, and if so, I'll see you guys next week.